When you are done, take them to a grooming table and proceed to get all that undercoat and dead hair out. I put a product called Cowboy Magic onto the coat. It will help loosen the coat up and help your comb glide through as you comb them out. Billie Jean is currently not shedding, so she will be an easy groom today. Next, I use a dryer to fully dry the coat. Not everyone has this tool, but a hair dryer can be used as an alternative. Just make sure you're using cool air. If you don't have a blow dryer, allow your dog's coat to air dry before you start combing. It's easier on both you and the dog. While blow drying, keep the blow dryer from being used directly on their feet or head. Billie Jean has been groomed many times, so she's used to it, but corkies will bite the dryer. Sometimes I put a muzzle on to calm them and to keep myself from being nipped at. Another important tip in grooming your dog is that they stand for you. It will make your job grooming easier and it will help be a good control point for your dog. This will help by blowing out that extra coat and save you time. It will also help you see what's in their skin such as fleas, hot spots, and things that may be stuck in their coat from hiking. This is preventative care that will keep you away from the vet. I have three favorite products, a Greyhound comb, a slicker, and this boar bristle and nylon comb. I am going to start with my Greyhound comb and follow the way the hair lays. Some other brushes that will help are pen brushes and rakes. Hold the head up as you comb through the front and be cautious of the ears. They have a lot of loose skin here around the neck, so I pull up on some of it to allow my comb to glide. That's what you're looking for, that gliding action. When combing their underside, you can pull the leg forward or have them lay down. Just be careful of sensitive parts as you comb the underside. Check their armpits because this is where you will see redness from allergies or uh, some kind of irritation from a dog harness. When I get to their pants, I like to part it, separate it, and then comb it out. When I'm done, I put the leg down a little bit and reverse comb up. Reverse combing assures me I'm getting all that dead hair. Now I'm going to show you how you can use that slicker. This works really well on nappy and short hair, such as puppy fur and their legs and feet. Once you finish, we will grab our boar bristle and nylon brush and just finish it out. Make all the coat lay back down. Finally, we will use this product called Musher's Cream. This will help moisten the 
paw pads and protect their feet. Be aware of the temperature your dog's feet are exposed to. Hot and cold temperatures can burn the bottoms of their feet. Apply a little glob of it and rub it in. That's part two, I recommend combing on a weekly basis.